Yo, hey, what's up guys? Sorry, I know it's been a while since my last video. I've been really busy with work, and especially the holidays coming around, family members coming to town. And uh, since my last video, I picked up quite a few little collectibles here and there. So let's just jump right into it. This video may be a little long, but again, um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. This, what you see here in front of you, um, this came in the mail today, and that's what kind of just enticed me to do a quick uh, little video. Uh, because I've been waiting for this and I actually got a really good deal, but I'll talk about this at the very last. The first thing, guys, I do want to show you is this. It is a G.I. Joe, or actually a uh, Cobra slash Dreadnought Thunder Machine. It's, uh, of course, you know, back in the early 80s, I would say, or actually mid-80s, 1986 to be exact. It is a really, really cool vehicle that was part of the Dreadnought slash Cobra line. And what it is, is pretty much, it's, um, uh, I want to say maybe an SUV retrofitted with two mini guns up front and a nice little uh, jet propelled booster in the very back. This, guys, I had when I was younger. I got when I was like maybe six or seven, and it was one of my favorite, favorite all-time vehicles. I would always take this outside play with it, go running through the mud, running through the water. It was just awesome. And plus, at that time, I had a nice little stash of little dreadnoughts, little cobras that I can actually put on the vehicle, put two of them inside, and just go to town. I really, really love this vehicle. And one thing that I, one thing I really do, really do enjoy the fact that of how I bought it, or the price that I got it for, it included the box. Let's see if I can get this in the in the shot here. I'm doing stuff a little differently, guys, only because um, in my kind of uh, study room, the light isn't really that well uh, where I have my computer. So I'm like, well, let me go ahead and give it a try in the in my living room. Better lighting, and hopefully the video comes out a little better. Anyways, this I picked up at my local uh, vintage market marketplace. Kind of, uh, I've talked about it a lot of times in my previous videos. I'll put a link to a couple. Uh, videos that I did of this marketplace and again guys if you are in Arizona uh, feel free if especially in Phoenix you're into vintage stuff you're into collecting comic books toys or whatever it may be um, take a look at this place what it's called it's it's pretty much called Arizona collectors marketplace okay again I'll put a link to their website up on or by their Facebook page up on uh, the comments or the description of the video here only because I, I really want to promote them. I really want to make sure these people, or at least this place, doesn't close down. Um, it's been doing really well um, so far, so far, and I would like for them just to get more, you know, more traffic, more publicity. Only because they're really cool guys. They know what they're doing. Um, they allow people to go in there on weekends and sell their own stuff. Only for twenty to thirty bucks, they charge. And you can sit there all day and sell your stuff and they don't take a fee, they don't take any percentage. I mean, that's really great. Anyways, I'm talking too much, guys. Back to this. I picked this up for a really good price there. Really, really good. Way cheaper, way more affordable than eBay. And I'm glad that it came with the box. It did not come with the instructions, though. And it does have <clears throat> the missing uh, flag points cut out. It also did come with the, the Dreadnought Thrasher and he's inside. Let's see if you guys can see him here. Uh, he's inside the vehicle right now. And what makes it even really more, I don't want to say rare, but more um, special is the fact that this seems to have hardly ever been played with. I mean, it really looks to be as a display piece. Uh, there, it, like one thing you notice, I know with mine, uh, the rubber treads were all worn. I remember on the very, <laughs> when I very first got it, I ran it through the mud, I ran it through the concrete. It had, um, you know, some scratches and tears on my older one. But this one, like I said, it, it's in, in immaculate condition. I mean, look at that rubber. There's really no issues. Uh, all the stickers are there. And then plus, even the hard to find antenna that ends up usually getting bent. It does have a little sl slight, you know, bend but there's really no no spider stressing or any type of stressing at all it probably just either from the heat or I don't know maybe it was just stored wrong but it does have a slight bend as you can tell and also it does come with the steering wheel the really hard to find or easily misplaced steering wheel in the uh, in the cabin 
And then of course Thrasher has his own, you know, weapon, of course, uh, that comes with him it's, it himself. So it's pretty much, it's 100% complete minus the instructions, which I just recently purchased on eBay. I was hoping I would get those in this week, but uh, probably next week they'll come in uh, because of the holiday. But yeah, this is a really, really cool find. I'm really happy that I got it. Uh, I'll probably end up uh, keeping it in my in my collection for a little bit until I get the instructions. And who knows, I may sell it. I don't know. Uh, I'm still undecided about undecided about that. But um, it's a really, really nice, nice uh, um, piece of uh, GI Joe history right here. This is really, really nice. Anyways, guys, uh, jumping to the next thing that arrived. Um, is this. It's a mint and package 1986 Rambo figure from the Force of Freedom line. You guys all remember the Rambo movies, right? Uh, when I picked this up, well actually when I saw this, oh man, it brought back so many memories. I remember picking up Rambo, or at least uh, my father, I think, I don't know, maybe seven, eight, maybe. Um, we had a local state fair here. And uh, every now and then, every other year, there would be, I guess, uh, um, I don't want to say toy stores or collectors or, or just sellers of toys. They would go to the, the fairs and they would sell a bunch of kid toys. And I remember seeing this there and I wanted it. I, I really wanted it because I really loved Rambo at that time because of the movies. Anyways, long story short, I had it when I was young. I got it now and it's, it brings back a lot of good memories and like I said it's mint and card and I have it pretty much just sealed in a large, I would say polypropylene, mm, very large magazine size uh, bag. Something like your comic book bag of course but it's super size uh, to give you a better idea how big this is. Um, this is of course your standard TV remote control and you can tell it's it's a pretty huge package. Um, I believe Rambo himself is like maybe nine inches, uh, eight or nine inches. So it's a pretty big figure. And it dates back, I would say 85, 86. And uh, the Rambo line only came, I believe like one or two series of toys. This of course is the first series, the very first production of Rambo. Uh, there's another one in the same series of Rambo where he had a white t-shirt on and of course, I don't know if you guys all remember, in the Rambo line, there was this white and black ninja that I have been looking for. Uh, I had both ninjas also when I was younger, and they came with swords, and it kind of reminded me, you know, of a giant-sized storm shadow and snake eyes, you know. They were really awesome. But anyways, this is my first Rambo figure, and I picked this up, you know, for a pretty good price, and it's 100% complete. Of course, it's mint and card, dummy. So it comes with, of course, his rocket. It's a rocket, uh, rocket, <laughs> a rocket launcher that actually uh, has a little trigger where it shoots the rocket out, and of course, it's attached by a by a small string so you don't end up losing the rocket, which is really smart. It comes with uh, two different, I don't know if you guys can see it, two different type of T-knives, where it looks like a T, where it fits in, a, it fits in Rambo's hand, and it kind of sticks out, th I guess, through, the, through his uh, um, palm. Let's see if you guys can see that there. Those two knives, and of course is, uh, what is it, um, what kind of gun that is? It's an M60 machine gun, and it comes with, of course, his large machete that fits in his, uh, right there, his machete holster, which is really cool. Now, of course, I don't know if you, the video can pick it up. His face, um, the, the plastic does change color, not in all of them, only on some of them, depending on where it was made, either Mexico or China or Taiwan, I don't remember. But only some of them uh, change color during because of the age or at least because of the, the material that was used. So this one did change a little bit of color, but again, being the fact that it's been in package, um, I didn't really care. It's really nice. Uh, but that's... That's pretty much it for this. Let me show you what else I got in. <laughs> Hope you guys can see that. Check it out, guys. Those are early 1980s Mist Pac-Man and, of course, Pac-Man himself. They're wind-up toys. Um, the wind-up feature doesn't really work that well, and plus, I don't really want to stress it. I don't really want to break the, the plastic mechanics inside. But as you can tell, you wind it up. And the feet, you know, they move, you know, up and down. And of course, there's these wheels here that pretty much propel or move the toy in a certain direction. 
and the mouth opens. So you can just imagine it moving around uh, and the feet moving and just clapping. This is what's in its mouth. Hopefully, let's see, focus. Let's see, there we go. Of course, you have your little ghost. And there's no date stamp on here, but I remember uh, reading that this was like maybe 85, 86 also. Uh, the company that the, does have a company stamp and it says trademark of Bali slash Midway. And of course, it says Singapore. And that's all I can see, but it's pretty much in there. And that's Miss Pac-Man. And then I have Pac-Man himself. Same functions, same principle. The feet move. Of course, you wind it up there. Feet move and the mouth opens up. And of course, he has an orange ghost inside. These are really, really cool. Um, I remember seeing these in the store. I don't remember if it was Toys R Us or Dollar Store. Well, they didn't really have dollar stores at that time. Um, here in Arizona, and I know California, they have, uh, I want to say, Mexican American shops or stores where pretty much if you're throwing a party, a Mexican party, you can go in and buy pinatas, uh, party favors and candies. I remember going to a couple places when I was really young with family uh, because yeah, I am, you know, Hispanic, I'm Mexican American. <laughs> Anyways, not that it matters, but I remember seeing these. This is, this is pretty much you would find like either in in, uh, or purchase for Christmas stockings or pinatas or party favors. That's pretty much what you would get these for. I've seen a couple of these in mitten package. Uh, at the time, they were being sold for like maybe a dollar or two. Uh, not together, of course, but separately. And they're that's tiny. Pretty much you would find in a Christmas stocking or a pinata. But again, they're really cool. I remember seeing these, and I'm a huge Pac-Man fan, so I picked those up at on Facebook on a local, or I'm sorry, on a local. <laughs> I picked them up on a Facebook, um, I would say, trading page. Uh, pretty much a lot of vintage. I'll, I know I talked about this before in another video, but on Facebook, there's a various uh, pages people uh, put up, and... Um, they do trades, you know, if you're into vintage stuff or if you're into G.I. Joe, Transformers, He-Man, there's a lot of stuff on Facebook, guys. If you're not too sure about that or aware, just do a quick search, you know, on Facebook, go on there, do a search for, you know, vintage collectibles, Transformers, G.I. Joe collectibles, and you'll find a bunch of people. I'm on some of those pages, you know, doing trades, buying stuff, and these I purchased, I believe, for like maybe mm, 10 bucks each. Um, maybe a little expensive, but again, um, I really love these. They're in really nice condition, really clean, and they just go really well in my collection. So yeah, those are really cool. Next on my list. And that's the next thing I got, guys. As you can tell, it is a G.I. Joe type version of Jetfire. A lot of you probably already know where this comes from, or at least where it originates from. This was sold exclusively at Comic-Con in a set. Here's the box. The G.I. Joe Transformers, of course, it came with a set. It came with uh, a really big jet fire right here. Of course, you see them right there. It also came with Hound as a G.I. Joe Jeep. And then, of course, it came with Baroness, Snake Eyes, Bludgeon. There you go. And, of course, it came with Blaster. It pretty much came with these figures right here. Okay, now I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know <laughs> what this came with, but I purchased this directly just for the Jetfire. Jetfire was one of my favorite G.I. Joes that I never had as a child. Um, I ended up buying him a long time ago, about 10, 11 years ago. Two of them actually, but I ended up selling them. And this is kind of just paying homage, you know, just or a remembrance. Um, being the fact that it's super huge, I love G.I. Joe, I love Transformers, and being that the fact that it's Jetfire kind of morphed into a G.I. Joe Sky Striker, that's really cool. The thing is that, though guys, I don't know if you can really imagine how huge this is. This is huge. Um, if you guys have a Sky Striker G.I. Joe jet, uh, that's pretty much uh, how big it is and of course except for it does come with these uh, Jetfire's boosters. This does come off of course. Come on. This comes off. It's pretty much another small little plane with a cockpit that normally will house uh, snake eyes in there. 
Snake Eyes, like I said, does come with this uh, San Diego Comic-Con set. Or like the fact if you just want to put your standard G.I. Joe 3 and 3 quarter inch G.I. Joes in here, they'll fit. That's pretty much how big it is. Um, these are really, really cool, and it has pretty much the same functions, the same functionality as your G.I. Joe Sky Striker, meaning that it has its uh, wings that come out, and, a pl and plus, it's, uh, let's see, there we go, um, it's landing wheels. So that's really, really cool. And the cockpit does open up, and here is a closer view of the cockpit. It's really cool. No parachutes, of course, like the normal Sky Striker that came back way back in the day, but pretty much just the same type of idea, concept for the jet, and it's freaking cool. I love it. Um, it also came with a bunch of uh, missiles, of course, but I don't have them on. They're all right here in the bag. Really cool. And um, when I bought this, um, it was already put together. The stickers were already put together. The guy was telling me that I bought it from that normally these stickers take sometimes, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to put the stickers on only because um, if you're really anal like I am and you need to have the stickers perfect and placed in the right, you know, order, right areas, it would take you a very long time. And I'm very glad that I actually bought it uh, <laughs> with the stickers already put on because knowing me, if I had to put these stickers on myself, I screwed them up. I'd be upset and probably throw the whole thing away. I don't know. But I'm actually really glad that, uh, that these came on. These actually came with the stickers already attached and already assembled. So I do plan later on, uh, not anytime soon, maybe after the holidays, purchasing Hound, of course, and then maybe, maybe these figures. I'm not too, f you know, I'm not too, I don't want to say fond, but uh, I'm not really interested in buying these figures, even though I know that uh, the Baroness with Ravage, they're really, really expensive. I don't want to say hard to find, but everyone wants to buy these. And sometimes, you know, Ravage and the Baroness can go from 75 to 50 bucks each. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm just glad that I have the box in case I ever want to build the set later on or just for, you know, just for show. But, yeah, I got that. The next thing I got, guys. Another thing I kept forgetting to show you guys is this. <laughs> Now for you 80s guys and even 70s that were born in the 80s and 70s, you know what this is. All you younger guys that were born in the 90s and even early 2000s, if you don't know what this is, don't feel bad. But this pretty much is, um, <laughs> his name is Ponch. <laughs> his name is Ponch and it was pretty much based off, or this character, this figure here is based off a of late 1970s, early 1980s television show called Chips. Chips was pretty much a TV show based off of two, or at least a, um, mm, I want to say a highway patrol. Kind of like if you want to imagine cops turned into a weekly TV series sitcom, that's what it was. Okay. Now this specifically, the reason why I have this is because of course, Ponch, he's a, he was a pretty cool guy. He was on a motorcycle, of course. He was really funny, blah, blah, blah. But the fact the grade, it was graded um, a really, really high grade off of AFA. And as you can tell, it's already sealed. And yes, it has a grade. Check it out. Uh, let's see if the camera picks it up without the shadow. It's received a 90. The card has a grade of 90. The bubble has a 90, as well as the figure. That is a really, really high grade, guys. I purchased this off of my cousin, I would say maybe about a month, month and a half ago, and only because, um, you know, uh, he needed some cash, he wanted to sell it, and of course I bought it for, uh, you know, a pretty affordable price. Ponch, Chips, don't get me wrong, he's a really cool figure, really cool thing to have, especially if you're into, you know, 70s and 80s genre type vintage toys or collectibles. This is a plus to have, but with me, uh, I'm more of an 80s guy, uh, not really of a you know sitcom, TV show, collectible person. Um, I'm sticking with G.I. Joe, Transformers, He-Man, you know, stuff like that were meant for kids and cartoons. This really wasn't a cartoon. However, Chips, for people my age, they know what it is. 
It's somewhat sought after, not really expensive, but I do have it up on eBay trying to sell right now. I'm open for offers. The only reason why, like I said, I if you're into this stuff, I do recommend, you know, hit me up, let me know if you're interested. I'm negotiable with price or even for trading. It's just you can't find one in this condition. Um, I, I want to say it's safe to say that this is one of the highest graded condition uh, figures and chips uh, that I pretty much have here. You know, I don't want to boast myself, you know, yeah, Rick, I'm talking too much. But again, this is something I really like. Um, I do plan on selling it just to, you know, pretty much it, it doesn't belong in my collection. But again, if you're interested, let me know. I can know. Uh, maybe we can work out a deal. So I have that, guys. And also, what I want to show you, I know last week, I know, or last week, last video, I mentioned that I purchased and re showed you guys a 1982-1983 Scarlet. This came in, of course, you saw, you saw the video, but you guys didn't really see what it looked like, how I had it. I do have the full original card back. This is not the 82 version card back of Scarlet. This is the 83 version, and I made sure I purchased the correct uh, the correct figure to go with the card back. And this figure, of course, is the swivel arms. And as I'm pretty sure you've all seen this already in my last video, but I just wanted to show it off again. I really like it. A really, really nice condition card. And yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. The next thing, guys, that I got in the mail has to do with this. Now a lot of you have already seen this in my previous video. It's Storm Shadow 1984. It has, he's 100% complete and he does have his original 1984 uh, card back here. However, the Storm Shadow that I had is a little yellowed, slightly yellowed. And my intentions were, you know what, I'll go ahead and try the trick that's pretty much been advertised a lot on YouTube on how to de-yellow or at least clear out the yellow and make it a little bit brighter or wider, the figure. Um, only because the plastic at that time, uh, the plastics that, and the paint that were used over age, they'll, you know, decolorize and turn yellow. Well, anyways, on eBay, I found one, just a storm shadow. Um, I picked it up and bought it and it arrived. So my, t my intentions are to pretty much just trade out that storm shadow with this one and that's what came in the mail so I don't know if you guys can see but hopefully it is a little yellowed compared to this one hope the difference it is much wider and let me open this up oh you're kidding me not again God. Uh, yeah, just tricking guys, just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, actually I bought this on a really good deal because it was broken, or at least it's missing the rubber band that goes inside the figure. Let me open this up. <laughs> Had you guys going, huh? Like my other video where I broke the arm? No, this one actually, this is how it's supposed to, that how it was sold and how it's supposed to arrive. Uh, the figure pretty much is in really good condition. It's just the rubber band that goes inside the figure. Uh, is missing or it was broken and that's okay because what I do I have a lot of rubber band replacements but in this figure since I love Storm Shadow so much I'm gonna take the original rubber band that was in this one I'm gonna take it out put it in this one and uh, sell this figure with a you know of course the figure is gonna a little bit yellowed and it's gonna have a replacement band so of course it's gonna go for a little less on eBay I'll make sure I put the description correct, notifying the flaws. Uh, number one, like I said, the rubber bands would be replaced and it's a little yellowed. I'll probably sell it maybe for like 20 bucks or if anyone's interested, uh, let me know. But yeah, like I said, um, there it is. So don't worry, it. <laughs> I bought a broken one just for this, this uh, replacement here. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's what I have. Uh, it's been a really busy week. I plan on doing some more videos. I'm having a lot more time off. I have a four-day vacation because of Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Happy holidays, guys. Thanks for all my viewers. I've been getting a lot more subscribers. Stay tuned. More videos are going to be coming up. I plan on doing a Black Friday uh, video here 
this coming Friday in a couple days at our local toy store, or at least the marketplace, the vintage marketplace that I go to, they're having a little Black Friday. So I'll probably head up there just to see what's going on, say some, say hi to a few people, do a quick video of the store. They've improved. They've 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 uh, added a lot of cool stuff there, and the, and I figured you know some of you guys may want to be curious. You know, like, hey Rick, what do they have there? I'm I like your videos. I don't know. <laughs> so plan on that, guys. And then plus I'll probably hit up Black Friday just for DVDs. You know, they always have Best Buy always has special on movies, and I'm a big movie buff. So yeah. That's it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Stay tuned. More will be coming out shortly. Peace.